In this tutorial, we create a trendy double exposure effect in Adobe Photoshop with the help of blending modes and clipping masks in a few steps. My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and this is Make a Trendy Double Exposure Effect in Adobe Photoshop, originally written by Yulia Sokolova on Envato Touch Plus. Open your photo. Take the crop tool and make the photo less wide. Now we need to make it much brighter and add contrast. Go to Image, Adjustments, Levels and move the sliders or simply type these values. Click the OK button to apply the adjustments. Let's fix the guy's ear with the Spot Healing Brush tool. Just click and move your mouse, drawing above the area you wish to fix. Now we need to get rid of the background. Take the Magic Wand tool and click anywhere on the background to select it. Then go to Select, Inverse in order to make the man selected. Find the Refine Edge button in the control panel to reveal the Refine Edge options window. Slightly increase the radius value in the edge detection to reveal minor details such as separate hairs. Set the output to New Layer with Layer Mask. This will automatically create a copy of your initial image with the background hidden by a layer mask. Create a new layer below the cutout portrait and fill it with a neutral grayish color using the Paint Bucket tool. Let's select the second photo for our composition. Place the image of the forest above the man's portrait. Keeping the forest layer selected, press the Ctrl key and click on the layer mask of the layer below. Press the Add Vector Mask button in the bottom of the Layers panel to hide the unneeded parts of the forest image. If you click on the chain icon between the image thumbnail and the mask thumbnail in the layers panel, this will unlink the layer in its mask so that you can move and rotate the image inside the mask without moving the whole layer. In our case, let's put the forest image upside down so that the dark reflection of the trees is placed in the head area of the silhouette as shown here. Select the layer which contains the cutout portrait with the mask. Make a copy with Ctrl J and drag and drop it above the forest layer. Let's make the portrait monochromatic to fit the forest image color palette. Keeping the portrait layer selected, move to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate, converting our image to grayscale. Open the Levels window and make the image much darker by moving the black slider to the right side or manually setting its values to the ones shown here. Go to Image, Adjustments, Use Saturation. Tick the Colorize checkbox to change the whole range of colors of our image. Set the values as shown here and click OK to apply the created effect. Right-click on the Portrait Layer Mask and select Apply Layer Mask. Change the blending mode of the portrait layer to screen in the Layers panel. We can already see the desired double exposure effect. Only a few minor tweaks left, so let's move on. Take the Brush tool and select a soft brush. Select the Layer Mask of the Forest layer Set the fill color to black and paint softly over the upper part of the head area, thus erasing the unwanted parts of the head. This makes the image look as if the trees are growing directly from the man's head. Create a new layer beneath the desaturated portrait layer, take the brush tool again and switch the fill color to dark blue, which you can pick directly from the hair part of the portrait with the eyedropper tool. Start painting over the eyes area, making it more distinct. For more convenience, you can control click on the layer mask of the portrait layer to create a matching and selection, which allows you to draw inside the selected area without crossing its boundaries. Let's add a finishing touch to our image. Select the desaturated portrait layer and add layer mask by clicking mask icon in the bottom part of the layers panel. Take the brush tool and switch the fill color to black. Paint over the neck area of the man, creating an illusion of his face popping out from the trees. Now you know how to make a trendy double exposure effect in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.